Alright, now you might be wondering why you should even use Anarchy in the first place with all the other API wrappers that exist. And well, to start off, uh, some of Anarchy's main focuses are simplicity and efficiency, which other wrappers kind of fail at. On top of that, it also supports user-only functionality, i.e. things that only user accounts can do. Okay, so first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is go to the link in the description, uh, which will bring you to this page. And um, if you wanna read the source code, you can hit the contribute button here, which will um, redirect you to the GitHub. But what we wanna do right now is download Anarchy. So just go to this page right here, um, and then you can see there's, there's a few uh, options here, either NuGet or GitHub. And if you click on GitHub here, uh, you can see that it redirects you to this page with all of the um, releases uh, where you can then, you know, download the zip. Um, but an easier way of doing it would be through uh, NuGet, which is how uh, we're going to be downloading it today. Alright, so to install it on your project, um, go to Visual Studio, hit Manage NuGet Packages, and uh, look up Anarchy because you know the name of it is Anarchy Wrapper um, and you can see it's right here so just hit install on that alright so I'm not gonna be doing like a full-on tutorial in this video uh, if you want one uh, you can find that on uh, my documentation page on my website but yeah I'll just I'll just you know quickly show you around so uh, Discord client is the um, is the most basic client that Anarchy has. It'll still allow you uh, to do most of the stuff that you can do with Discord, except for stuff like joining voice channels and all that. Um, and so the first thing I'd like to show you is just the git guilds function, uh, which will just return all the guilds that um, the client is in. So you just do that. You can see that it returns one, um, which is a guild with this name, uh, which matches this one that I'm in right now. Um, and that's a partial guild, which means that it only it, it only shows us basic information like you know the server's ID name, I an icon, um, but it also gives uh, us some information about our permissions in that server. Um, but if if you want like you know uh, more information about the guild, um, on a partial guild, you can you can use dot get guild here, which will just you know um, ask this court for. You know the full guild basically um so just let that run and uh, you can see that uh get guild returns you know a, a much more complex guild objects with you know more information such as the nitro boosts um you know it's emojis and all that so that's that um you can also do more user specific stuff like um getting your relationships for an example just let that run and um, you see that I am friends with seven people here um, which of course matches with this thing um, so that's that uh, we can, you know what let's let's okay yeah so let's let's get a channel real quick okay um, inside of the skilled just because why not um, so when we call this method get channel right um, you can see that it returns a very very basic um, channel here. All it returns is just the ID, the name, and the type, uh, which is text because it's a guild text channel. Um, and so you know what? What if? Well, what if you want more information about it, right? Well, we know that this is a um a guild text channel, so we can do just do two text channel. I'll run that again. And you can see that there is now a lot more information, such as its position, um, slow mode, topic, uh, permission overrides, NSFW, last message ID, all that sort of stuff. Um, and you know, and and once you have uh, either a text channel or, or a uh, private channel or group, you know, basically um, channel objects where you can send messages, uh, you can of course call this method right here. Uh, we'll just say hello world right there uh, I'm not gonna put a breakpoint this time just let it run right there we go and as you can see it uh, it wrote out hello world um, 
and now in anarchy like you know all, all sorts of mes uh, methods like uh, sent message have a um, have a corresponding me method where you don't need like you know the actual um, channel object which can help with um, performance and stuff so if we just remove this um, and then add the channel ID here you'd see that you know that's a required parameter and then we run the same code again uh, you can see that it now uh, put out hello world once again so you know you can do that stuff as well um, but let's let's just try something a little different let's create a guild um, for guild, let's just call it our own man. Uh, image dot from file. I, I think I have a um an image around here somewhere. Let me find it. All right, there we go. So just enter its path right here. Yeah, let's just let it create the guild. And uh, as you can see, it created a guild with this uh, with this picture right here. Um, as its icon. So then we could do something like client dot get killed. Uh, this right here. Dot modify. Uh, just create new guild properties. Uh, we'll just set verification level to very high. Um, and now if you uh, if you ran that, you uh, you go to here uh, moderation, and you can see that it is on very high or highest as it's now known as in Discord. Um, but if you remember what we did last time, uh, you can actually do, uh, let me get it real quick, modify guild, which uh, obviously takes in a, a guild ID, but then you can do the same thing again, we'll just set it to medium this time. And uh, then we're going to moderation, you can see that it has been set. That was just a few examples of what you could do with anarchy. Yeah. Wait a second. Do you smell that? It smells like capitalist exploitation of identity politics. Hello everybody! Pink capitalism here. You may notice I look a lot like regular capitalism, except I'm superficially pink for no reason. <laughs> Don't be absurd. There's a reason. Do you know how lucrative the LGBTQ plus demographic is? That's the reason. And besides, I'm not just superfluously pink, I'm also superfluously gay. Look at how my hands just flap around. I exist because every letter we Add to the LGBTQQIP2SAA acronym is another letter that I get to market to. Another lucrative identity class to exploit.